everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're starting off by blocking the brows. I don't know if you noticed there, but I licked the <laughs> glue stick to moisten it a little bit. And uh, it definitely helps thin the glue out so that I can get it on the brows without it looking chunky. You're definitely going to want a couple layers. Um, I cut most of it out, but after this I think I added at least two more layers of glue to the brows. And then I go through them with a spoolie to push them up and out of the way. It's the best direction to push them in so that they lay flat and hide under the makeup. And then I go in with some air spun powder just to make sure the glue isn't tacky and to flatten the brows even more. Here I am really pressing those brows flat and filling in the gaps that might have been left by the glue. Now normally I would color correct with some orange but because we're doing clown white the paint is thick enough to cover the darkness of the brows. So I just grab some with a spatula and apply it to my face. Um, this is kind of a tricky product to work with, grease paint. Um, but I found that it works best with a spatula and then this foundation brush from the... Oh, uh, I can't remember. <laughs> uh... The Day of the Dead collection by Melt, it's the foundation brush from that, but it uh, it works really well with this white grease paint, so that's, that's its job now. So I'm using these kind of stabby pull kind of movements to drag the paint across my face, but you can't just swipe it because it's really thick, so you have to tap it. And then I'm going in with Clown White Powder and applying that with a powder puff. Just to set the white paint. And then here I'm going in with a Black Water Activated Paint. And marking out where all the holes in the face mask are going. If you didn't guess yet what I'm doing, we're doing Jason Voorhees. I actually did this on Friday the 13th this year, so that was fun. Yeah, really trying to get the dot symmetrical is tough, <laughs> to say the least. It's not perfect, but by the time I'm done dirtying it up and adding all kinds of shadows and stuff, it, you don't notice it as much. Symmetry is hard. <laughs> and then a little triangle under the nose. Now, I did have a little wiggle room with making these symmetrical because the dots are smaller than what the holes are going to be. So I could adjust it slightly when I was drawing the holes in then. Go right over the lips. Lips are not there. They are just skin to paint on. <laughs> There, I'm going in and widening that triangle under the nose. And here's where I start to uh, draw the circles in. I cut most of that out because it was off camera. I was leaning in too far to the mirror. <laughs> so it got cut out. But... Making generally round shapes. <laughs> it probably would have been easier to take the tail end of a fat face brush and uh, just dot 
the black on. I don't know why I didn't do that. It didn't cross my mind at the time. So I painstakingly attempted to paint perfect circles. <laughs> Which, uh, they're not all perfect. But that's okay, because it's just a face paint. See, those ones didn't turn out perfect, but that's okay. Uh, I think I was getting tired of drawing circles <laughs> by that point. Oh no. <laughs> but that's okay. And then I go in with a red. Um, at first I started using cherry red, and I think later on I go in with vampire red to darken them up because they were too light. And then there's also the triangle kind of above the nose, the bridge of the nose. Just really trying to get those pigmented. Um, the paint kind of wanted to mix in with the white, so it was coming out more sheer than I wanted it. Uh, this footage is in times two, so some of this didn't happen quite as fast as it looks like it's happening, but also I really took my time with it because this almost looks like normal speed. <laughs> but. What are you going to do? So then I go in and I draw the circles around the eyes for the eye holes. I'm the eye holes, man. Stay out of my eye holes. Does anybody watch Rick and Morty anymore? <laughs> I go in with a little bit of a bigger brush and fill it all in. I was jamming out to some copyrighted music. <laughs> so, none of the original audio was usable, but that's okay. Voiceovers are just as good, right? Right? Now, there's a little bit of a splatter under this eye, but that's okay because it adds texture. When we dirty this thing up, you won't even notice that it's there, so. It's all good, man. It's all good, man. Lawyer and attorney. See, there's that vampire red to darken it up a bit.
And there I'm going in with some brown shadow just to darken up those holes. It's a dark brown and a black mixed together just to really make it look dirty and used. Adding eyeshadows to face paint is a really easy way of adding more detail that you can't necessarily paint. That kind of sheer application of product is difficult to do with just water activated paints, but shadows really add depth to whatever it is you're painting. When I go around the eyes, we're gonna do more to the eyes later so don't worry about that, but really smudging it on there. Just have fun with it, you know? You can make up a story in your head as to what happened to the character that you're creating. What caused this kind of rotting, <laughs> you know? And then I go in with a big brush and I just start stippling on dirt. <laughs> like he's been rolling around in the ground. What a dirty boy, Jason. Jesus. Clean your mask off every once in a while, eh? But I think that really adds texture and definition to the look. I mean, the difference between the white base and the dirtied white base are very prominent. I go in with a waterline pencil just to hide my fleshy flesh. See how much darker the eyes are now because I covered the waterline. And then I went in with this bone color. It kind of looks like bird poop, but <laughs> in the photo that I was looking at, there were like yellowy patches, and I thought that I could add it with the paint, so that's kind of what I did. Just making it look dirty, you know? Maybe he's been crying. <laughs> Who knows? And I go in with a brown and I start adding these like stripes under the eyes to make it look like it's been running. I'm not sure if it's blood, but definitely something. Definitely something. <laughs> and then I tap some of it out. It's not quite as sharp as it looks. But I think that just makes it look so much creepier and so much scarier. It's awesome. Then I go in with Vampire Red again and I added red under the eyes. But then in just a second I'll decide that I don't like how red it is, and I go back in with black to darken it up again. <laughs> See, there you go. But it does add some definition. If you look at it just the right angle, you can see the red, which is nice. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!